In this video, I will show how to define an ILM store, an ILM audit area, and an ILM policy. This is based on the RFC destination that we created in the previous video. To create an ILM store, I use transaction ILM store admin. All previously configured ILM stores are displayed on the store administration web page. I select to create a new store. I enter a name and description of my new ILM store. Here I enter the RFC destination name that we defined in the previous video, and then I save. We can now see all the ILM stores in the list, including the new one at the bottom. To define the audit area, we must use the ILM Aura transaction. Here we see the already defined audit areas, and we create a new entry. I enter an audit name within the Y namespace, because of an SAP restriction to customer namespace or Y and Z, and I add a description, and I set the policy category to retention rules. Then I click save. When I click back, we can now see the new entry here. To define the ILM retention policy, I must use the IRM poll transaction. I set the policy category to retention rules, and I set the audit area to the one I just created. And I select an ILM object, and then click New. Here I enter a name for the policy, and select some conditions to include in it. And I click the right arrow to have them included in the policy. And then I click Save and OK to accept the default transport. Now the policy is created, and I click Edit Rules. Here I define a rule for the policy, and I specify the ILM store that I created before. and I click Save. We are done, and now I will continue with the archiving administration. Please see the next video in this series.